and welcome back. All right, welcome back. Uh, last we left our intrepid adventurers. You guys were here in Kintargo, uh, a city in the country of Ravenel, uh, hunting down uh, the remaining bits of the Scarlet Triad who are trying to establish a slaving network across the uh, continent. Um, your travels led you here pursuing a uh, knoll by the name of Laz Loom, who has uh, established a foothold here. Um, you know not where. Um, uh, but arriving at Sunset Imports, you were uh, confronted with a stone golem, a, a, a diabolic creature, and a, a pair of thugs who uh, almost gave you a run for your money. Um, fortunately, you were able to uh, dispatch them along with the help of uh, local agent Nolly Peltry, the Bellflower Network. Um, upon arriving inside, uh, you found one of her friends, a, uh, a halfling by the name of Hundi Vosht, uh, who uh, had seemingly been tortured uh, while he'd been kept inside the warehouse. Uh, and unfortunately, he revealed that uh, under the pain, he uh, gave the Scarlet Triad what they wanted, and that he revealed the locations in which uh, the Bellflower Network was operating. Uh, namely, uh, Lady Decour's uh, School for Girls and uh, the Long Roads Coffee House, where you are now. Um, you went to the uh, School for Girls and only to find your uh, recently joined companion, Lucina. Uh, but arriving here, uh, you discovered that the place was already a bit of a mess. Um, six bodies lay strewn across the floor, uh, several tables upturned. Uh, and upon entering further, you were accosted by uh, some haunts with flaming maces. Uh, one of them you managed to successfully dispel with damage. The other uh, floated up to the second floor. Um, and it's in these moments you have uh, run over to this uh, uh, what looks to be like this kind of office area um, and unlatch the sort of drop down ladder to climb up. And so we are actually going to go to a different We'll travel by map. Probably be parked by farmer. <laughs> well, it's um, it's as you get to the top uh, that you find uh, two characters in what appears to be um, a comfortable study. Um, but as, as you all sort of climb up uh, this uh, almost partially destroyed ladder, um, th the two of them immediately recoil and kind of throw their hands up in the fence. Stop! Stop, please! Don't hurt us! Oh, now, now, cool your jets. Uh, have a seat and drop any weapons you got on you. We ain't here to hurt you if you don't do nothing back. Um, fr from the from the onset, they appear to be just two normal uh, civilians, not unlike the ones you found uh, butchered on the floor below. Uh, again, they 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 flinch and recoil as you know more of you enter. Um, uh. Looking down at our uh, halfling uh, associate. Uh, hey, uh, you know any of these gentlemen? Uh, Nolly looks back and shakes her head. No, first we've met. Um, and uh, they, they, again, are kind of pressing themselves back, eyeing you all suspiciously. It's like, what, are you, are you Nidalee's agents? Are you with them?
Of course, uh, just nudges our uh, armored friend forward. What? Uh, no, of course not. I was gonna say, they, they don't look like they're sort of like trying to ambush us or anything. No, they so look in entirely check. normal. But we were in the middle of chasing something. Did you not see something pass through or hear noise in the other rooms? Um, they both look at one another and shrug. No, we've. There was a commotion downstairs. We've heard lots of screaming. Um, we, we were afraid that it would come up here and then you showed up. Um. It's it's just as you uh it's just as the words come out of their mouth that a scream comes from uh the room to the south. What? That must be our guy. Oh, excuse me. Get open basically. Alright. You, you two best skedaddle. Yeah, quickly through the front. It should be safe now. <laughs> um they uh, they quickly sort of moved aside. Um, in in this room, uh, as you open a guild and stern, you can peek in and immediately see the uh, um, the ghostly haunt that you have been fighting before, wielding its burning mace. Yeah, why? Because I can only see the woman in front of me. <laughs> right, but I'm saying like you know, the entire room. But first and foremost, you know, directly ahead, you see this yeah, woman. Yeah. Um, I'll just, uh, let's see, show the players. Yeah, this, uh, this halfling woman who's kind of, uh, cowering behind the bed, um, uh, and kind of, kind of makes a surprised squeak as you enter. Um, and, uh, she calls for your help. Help! It's one of those things! Quickly, this way. Hurry now. We'll it's take care you. of that thing. It just points his sword at the uh, apparition. All right. Uh, I'm just going to have us roll initiative. Uh, but let me... I can't remember. What, what kind of damage count they take? I know we discovered it last time, but that was, what, two weeks ago now? Um, I'll tell you. Uh, they're immune to uh, death effects, disease, paralysis, poison, precision, and unconsciousness because they're incorporeal undead. Um, they have resistance to all damage except force, ghost touch, or uh, positive fl slash vitality. Then uh, they have double resistance against non-magical weapons. I think I'm alright against the Manta because I'm a cold iron. I think I am. Did I damage them last time at all? Let's see. Roll on PCs. All right. Uh, looks like we're just missing Wayne, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, good. All right. Um. Oh wait, let me uh go ahead and remove those peasants from the encounter. <laughs> no, they're joining us. Quickly, send them to the front. They'll be body uh, armor. They got big right. horse. Uh, first one to go is. This ghost of Barzillai. Uh, they are going to, uh, upon seeing you, uh, f float over. Oh. You good? Once I de deselect everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's moved uh, us through the wall. Uh, and they are, of course, going to smack you with their mace. <laughs> Uh, so strike one. Oof. 20. Oops, sorry, just a uh, sheet out. Oops. It 
Banger! Alright, then roll two. <laughs> two right on the nose. You are too far away for me to reduce the damage. That's fine. You're fine. Um, that is their turn, however. Um, the... Uh, behind you, though... Uh, the two characters you found. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspected it too. I just didn't ask to make a perception check. <laughs> I, I thought I did ask, but you just said, oh, yeah, they seem fine. So I was like, okay. Well, you didn't make the roll. I, I, I asked. I don't know what actually it is. It's not in sight in this, is it? All that stuff falls under perception. There you go, then. They summoned two... Uh... What? Errs. Rot Ryler? Um, one of their heads morphs and disforms into a panther head. And the other one shapes into a vulture. That's uh, great. And then one of their hands cracks and twists around until they have two left hands. Um, the one on the right goes first. Hey, quick! Has anyone got a squirt bottle? It's like I want the fat one. They step forwards. Wow, I'm called for Jesus. I know we're enemies, but Jesus. I don't know you now. That's just hurtful. <laughs> I like I said the fat one that he immediately goes to the boss, and that's just like, oh dang. <laughs> I, I hate this city, I hate this city, I hate this city, I hate this city. I want to go home. Even if it's a desert, I want to go home. Alright, that's 15 bars. Um, that's the end of the turn, because changing shape took an action. Um, the other one is going to... Uh, shift over here. I'm going for the tall, lanky one. <laughs> Gonna attack Wainwright. Oh, okay. That's a good Very both well. spectrums, I suppose. Uh, and unlike a claw, they're actually going to strike at you with a cougar. He's going to strike at me with a kooky. I use my amulet. Okay. So you'll take seven. Seven damage and five less damage from the next attack. Sounds good. Uh, unfortunately, that's all they can do. Oh, man, y'all stink. Um, Nolly, Nolly just immediately sort of sweets out, Fiends! Um, and she uh, runs across the room uh, readies her hoe, fires the first shot at the one ahead of Vars. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. All right, next up, Vars. Well, then. well, that certainly was not very appreciative. I tried to let you go, man. It's doing an AOE heal here. Mm -hmm. This has never worked well for me, so bear with me here. <laughs> Uh, if that undead fellow is in this uh, emanation, oh. uh, 
The clip's in yellow. Yes, it is. Okay, so he'll make a fork save for the damage. Everyone else in that aura will heal uh, a lot more than just that. Or that will. Okay. Uh, I'm making a fall. I'm making a fall real far. Eight. Heightened fourth. Eight goes up one for eight. This is be a 48. Okay, it succeeded. 48 Close. This is a situation so, where you can, you're not target to me, so I don't have to do anything right. Yeah, I think you you can like willfully ignore this. I think, or I can oh, so I choose you, not to you, hit you with not it. Target, yeah. So in any case, anyone uh, who would like to can heal for that amount of damage. What? And uh. Oh right. Undead will take some of that. Yeah, it's gonna take half. <laughs> you just see Gildas then, like, uh, startled almost. He's like, every time it's cast, he's always worried. Okay. Just take it. it is divine if that uh, hits any uh, weaknesses. Uh, it has no weaknesses, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, that's a three action. Okay. Next up, Lucina. Okay. Lucina's uh, <clears throat> gonna straight up here. And attack the one next to Wainwright with a snagging strike. All right. I gotta remember to target. Uh, that is a hit. Okay. Hey, nice job. Thirty is magic. It's nineteen. Though. That's really good. Okay. Then we're gonna follow that up with uh. An attempt to grab him with combat grab. Okay. So that's a second hit. With okay. Damn. <laughs> All right, you succeed. And then they are now grabbed. All right. Okay. Yeah, don't 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 fuck with fighters in Tui. <laughs> <laughs> they, I think they uh... kind of overcompensated. <laughs> I was, just, I was just about to say, they compensate for, like, fucking the 5 E's fires. Alright, so they're mobilized. Do this. Okay. And then off guard. Grab. Cool. That's it. Alright. Atman, you're up next. Alright. Oh, why did you put some kukri? Atman um, always this the suspicious, wielding, paranoid type. He's wielding a kukri. It's not these oh. peasants were lying anyways. And he wanted to kill them before Varus was all like friendly. <laughs> I was right. I like, gotta give them a chance to redeem themselves, right? <laughs> but they're the demons. Well, we didn't know that. These guys, guys are demons, not, right? Not all demon kind is entirely meant to there, after all, you all heard that legend of Harushalai? You know that succubus that turned good up in the world wound? Knockdown strike. Yes, but the, the exceptions that prove the rule, right? Oh, sure. It just means you gotta give them a chance. And that's a miss. Oh, as yeah, our banter point, obviously is distracting Atman from his <laughs> <laughs> from his best would you, form. Would you please stop Go talking? <laughs> Alright, Wainwright, you're in next up. I take a step back. Okay. Five foot step. And then Wait, I don't need to. Do I need to roll my esoteric lore trick again? No, but we didn't disengage. I mean, we were still in combat technically when we went up. No, no combat. Started. No, no combat over. was over when you guys came up here. It uh, does also depend if you have that feature that lets you carry it on to other members of its race versus the specific individual target. Uh, you succeed. Um. You recognize these creatures as uh, Raja Rakshasa. 
I um, see. Yeah, the Raja Rakshasa have the heads of animals, and the hands, uh, you know, uh, two left hands that bend sort of awkwardly. Um, uh, they are evil spirits that cloak themselves in the guises of humanoid creatures so that they too might walk unseen amongst their prey. Um, and they are... specific mean. weaknesses? They do have weaknesses. Uh, holy 10. Holy moly. I shoot him. So if they took... They would have taken damage. No, they wouldn't have. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Mm, off by one. Oof. Oh, man, these guys could have just had like one left hand, one right hand, and they'd look kind of like a normal thing, you know? But they're not normal. They're not normal. They're <laughs> abnormal. Neuro neurodivergent demons. Uh, well, that's my turn. Okay. Um. Uh, the halfling woman is just gonna again move and kind of slunk down into the corner, trying to <laughs> avoid contact with anyone whatsoever. Come turn. Merkel. Okay. I can hit it with my sword. Can I? I, I can't remember if I could do that last time. I've obviously got. Yeah, you can hit it. Um. It's just reduced it's... unless you have the ghost touch. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Got, uh, resistance eight. Because I remember doing a spell and it's like didn't do anything. I think. Yeah, because they resist okay. all damage. <laughs> go, actually. Yeah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> almost. All right, go for damage. Oh, damn. 19. These days we've got that attack icon. <laughs> okay, Um, I still got a turn left. So I actually will use Chilling Torch if I do it on myself. I fucking hate the pop out, it's so annoying. Yeah, it doesn't appear to work. But I only do I only want it on the side, because obviously if I have it on my main monitor, I can't fucking see what we're doing, so I always want to pop it out. But then nothing works. Oop, that's the wrong one. Just uh real like damage for basically healing myself. <laughs> Sixty. But you you do have to make the save. That was that was oh, the yeah, 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 the rule of Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You're all set. Six, six, sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah, sixteen. Yep. Alrighty. I forgot I could actually heal myself mid battle with my own stuff. I should be doing that. Top of the round. Uh, this haunt of old ruler of this city is going to phase through the wall. Nice. So it's going to do a, a five foot phase. <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> phase two! <laughs> You're annoying! And then it's going to attack Nolly. <laughs> no! You shall go Just... the wrath of Vasili. You're, you're old and you're dead. Stay dead. Just gonna take a hit. Assault. It's just a phase, mom. Phasing through the wall. Uh, and then hit again. For 19. No, it just goes, OW! <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> um, 
Let's see, even though the creature is grappled, does that count towards flank? A grapple incurs off guard. Okay, and if they're off guard, then they can't assist. I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, because they're going to attack Lucina. <laughs> Oh, sorry, the one for is the one being grappled. So they're going to try and break out. Um, so that is an athletics. Or escape. Or escape. Um, but either way, it's a uh, dex check, right? Either. Okay. Uh Acrobatics or athletics, instead of using your attack modifier, you choose. Okay. Um, Otherwise, it's an unarmed attack. Yeah, they're just going to go for dex then. Nope. <laughs> you're, you're, you're twisting his, his, his wrist the right way. <laughs> Uh, they can still attack, though, right? Yeah, it just incurs off guard. That's. Yeah, I got you. So they already did that. They're going to try and bite you with their fangs. <laughs> Barely pierce your armor. Um... And then in desperation, there's uh, unleashed claws. Just scratch and scrape. Uh, the one behind, on the other hand, is going to go for some... Uh, what? No, that was the right one. Oh, wait. All right. Whatever. The ungrappled one is going to make a similar strike with its claws. Uh, 37 against you, Lucina? Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. For 18. Uh, and then they're going to give you the fangs. <laughs> Reduce. <laughs> the damage by 10. Okay. For the uh, first attack? For the first attack, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so you have resist five to slashing. Um, you take ten less, so you only take eight. Uh, and then this one is going to be piercing because it's doing its fangs. Okay. Yikes. For 52. Jesus. That's reduced by ten as well? No, because it's piercing, not slashing. Ah, I thought it was all damage. Uh, and that's the end of its turn. Uh, Nolly. Uh, she's going to make a five-foot stumble back. Uh, reload. And then use her magical hoe. I'm such a child. Every time you hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Hit. 27. Slay him. Again. Uh, he's going to do it. Oh, I guess I'm incorrect. Still up. Resistance is a bitch. Resistance is a bitch. Resistance. Farce. <sighs> well. All right, then. Uh. Huh. Oh, all right. He sounds like he's on the phone. I got you, Lucina. Hang tight. I gotta calculate this out again. Because the machine be broken. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Enjoy your health. Jeez. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keeping people alive, that's what I do. 
So, not sure if this is possible, but I'd like to uh, take the Rakshasa that I currently have grabbed and suplex into the other one. Uh, okay. Let's see. I would need for that is uh, probably an athletics. I'll say against its fort DC. So this is just an unarmed melee attack. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, wrestler dedication. I love to see it. Oh, okay. Uh, that hits. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what the other one would take. Uh, it looks like the other one takes 2d6. Wait, uh... The target takes 2d6, but I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't say if you do it to the other one. I mean, I presume they would take the same dice, so just like maybe 1d6 or something. I, I, it might just be up to you, sure. Uh, I'd, I'd say roll 2d6 for the guy you're suplexing, and then you can roll another for the one that's going to receive it. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, dying. Oh, hate to see what you do against a ghost train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, I don't take any damage. Actually, are these holy attacks? No, this is unarmed. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Roshaksa is prone now. The one that I successfully suplexed. Okay. Um, I'll go prone. And they're no longer grabbed. Yep. They have resistances too. Oh no. Yeah, they resist physical. Um, okay. Uh, so that was one action. Okay. My next move is to grab them. Okay. <laughs> With combat grab. <laughs> it just gets released and he's like, ah, no! Hits on the nose, so he is prone and grabbed. And that <laughs> is... Okay, there you go. Cool, cool. Professional wrestling is <laughs> real. Okay, and my next move is... I am going to 20 feet uh, here. Yeah, about 20 feet. I'm going to whirling throw it into the corner. <laughs> By the tail, please. By the tail, sure. Yeah, you, you can. You, this is the panther one. You can just toss him. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be an athletics. Okay, you're aiming for 29. There you go. All right, you succeed. And then it takes my strength modifier, which is four, plus 1d6 for every 10 feet. So it's 2d6. So 2d6 plus four? Yeah. Nice. All right. So it's like uh, somewhere over here now. Yeah, so they just go flying across the room, smack against the wall enough to uh, break a bit of the wood and just collapse down. Yeah, and that's it. No longer grabbed. They all, they're still prone. Um, <laughs> okay. Very impressive. Otman. All right. I'm going to attempt another knockdown. Of course, it's a big miss. Unfortunately. You're so blown away by the display wrestling. Like, oh, oh you, you're looking away. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a big miss. Not a good day. All right, Wainwright. 
All right. Your, your gun is wholly charged. The one who got thrown further away, I'm going to shoot. First, I'm going to pistol twirl at him. I wish you were going to shoot out. Ooh. Uh, it's against their will or, or deception. It's a deception, so I think it's against their perception. Okay, that's 29. So, unfortunately, unsuccessful. I see. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot him. And I'm going to miss him. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do it again. Hey, that hits. Alrighty. I'm going to damage him. Alright. Wait, this damage roll... Did, did, did they change the way the, the thing for calculating damage looks? It looks yeah, like it. it's, got, it's got the little arrow. Yeah. Yeah, let's click on it. I'll have to look at what this does later. Everything right, you need to do, apparently. And then I add 10 damage to it. Yep. So they're going to take 28. And hey, uh, hey. just to just attack on a little more. Uh, track record. Okay. Performance check for the uh, dazzling bullet. That, I think, is a will save. Or was it? Will is going to be 28. Sheesh. Nope, that's, that fails. Okay. And in my sh turn. All right. Okay. Uh, Elianda is going to Continue hiding, uh, Guildenstern. Um, I'm, I presume I'm able to hit the girls without actually moving, right? Or is it obstructed? Uh, I think it's technically a soft corner. I think that just gives them like plus two to their AC. What is their AC? Did we actually expose it last time? Uh, I thought I did. Right now, yeah, it's twenty nine. 29. Hmm, I don't want to make it 31. I think I should just move in to make sure I don't get that. Uh, attack. Come on, baby. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Same with that one. Right, give me the damage. Wow, that was shit. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's gone. Takes no damage. Motherfucker. Uh, I have one action left. Is there anything I can do to help? Got a spell? Uh, the only thing oh. I have is shield. Mm. Uh, I guess <laughs> I could just use that for a second. What was that? Uh, Mac? Nothing. Oh. Hot mic. Uh, I'll just use shield myself just in case. There you go. And it's on. Okay, well, it's this creature's turn. Uh, it is going to uh, fly over. And phase through another wall. No, it's going to move to here. If it um, can. attack opportunity on it? Yep. Nice. Oh. Alright, you hit. I thought I, thought I saw a <laughs> 20 then. Ezra, yeah, I believe that's uh... also within your range. Is it? Uh, oh, it doesn't yeah, matter. It, it perishes. Are you dead? Hey! That's what you get, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's just really annoying them. 
Yeah, you have been removed from the turn order. <laughs> it, it'll, yeah. just, it'll give a low fuck up the, uh, the, the half. Is it a half uh, link or is that no? The one in the room. Oh, the, oh, the other, yeah, the other halfling. Yeah, you just kind of turn it around and just gives your thumbs up. <laughs> Guild concern here with the professional rivalry. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, the haunt, you just sort of like cleave it right in half and just sort of uh, separates and then dissipates into just wisps. Um, all right. I'll go ahead and just move him. Turn order. Uh, which leaves the Rakshasas. Let's see. Uh... So the one next to Lucina is going to go. Uh, the, vul the vulture kind of gives a mirthful chuckle at seeing the panther get thrown across the room. Um, however, um, let's see. It's going to. How many does how much does this cost? Okay, just two. Um, it's going to five foot step here. Then I need to draw thirty foot cone. See, so the, the cone can originate from any adjacent square, right? Or is it's, like a corner? It's supposed to originate from the, any adjacent line. It's fine to place it anywhere around you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so everyone in that cone, which is going to be everyone except Lucina and Nolly. Uh... Let's see, they're gonna take. We have Wayne Wright's amulet for this. It doesn't say this has a save. Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it just happens. Um. This uh, this this vulture kind of weaves its uh, talon and hands together, and uh, a ripple kind of forms between them that sort of opens and spreads into this uh, shadowy mass, uh, and then the shadowy mass grows electric splinters that suddenly shoot out, shroud everyone in the cone with electric damage. Uh, so everyone in that cone is going to take uh, 5d8 electric damage. Do any of our caster types have a uh, recognized spell reaction? Nope, I don't think so. Any saving throw? Yeah, what's this? It doesn't, it doesn't say there is one. I, is this Shadow Blast? This is Shadow Blast. It's a basic reflex or will. Okay. Well, actually, you know, if I probably cast it, it'll probably give it to you. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't say so on the spell reflect spell description. The the foundry implementation isn't always word for word perfect, unfortunately. Gotcha. Oh wait, that, that I, was like, like, we'll I was looking at the uh, the legacy version. This would still be uh, or will target's choice. Yeah, sorry. And okay. then, so the the DC to save is thirty one. <laughs> I crit. I crit succeed. Do I? Does it phase through me? I crit fail. I reduce the damage on Ottman by ten. Okay. A point of heroicness. Yeah, Ottman, do you want to use your hero point? No, 
Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, so it's gonna be. Yeah, so crit fail is double, right? So it'd be fifty-two. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you, you so Otman, you take forty-two. Um. Then everyone else who didn't get above thirty-one takes the whole twenty-seven. And then Wainwright, I don't think you get hit with any because you crit succeeded. Awesome. Yeah, for, for reference, basic saves are your classic. If you make the save, you take F. If you crit, you don't take any. If you fail, you take normal. If you crit fail, you take double. All gotcha. Right. And that is its turn, because that was a two-point cast. One moment. About to go get something to drink. Sounds good. Um, the other one... Uh, is going to uh, first stand up. Uh, second action, stride over to Vars. Actually, it's going to stride over to Lucina again with a snarl. It did not enjoy being thrown. Welcome back. <laughs> um, and it's coming at you with the claws. A claw! Ouch. Yeah, it wasn't a crit. True. It was almost a crit. Um, all right. I suppose Rainwright has his amulet handy. He used it on uh, Otman. Uh, that's their turn. Uh, Nolly is going to... Uh, stride into a flanking position, uh, reload, and then fire on the left one, Vulture. Why do I feel like we're fighting the... What are the, the Thundercats enemies? Like the Lizard oh. Man, the Hawkman? <laughs> yeah, yes. was it Mumra and... Yeah. Yeah. Slithe. <laughs> yes. Okay, Vars, uh, once no one's, like, immediately dying, that's good. And he's going to point at the, uh, the Rexasha that had just recently attacked Lucina, just as its, uh, last claw misses. <laughs> well, it looks like you got done tossed through the corner like a barn cat. Ha! <laughs> you ain't so tough. All right, so it got Bon modded. He's been, been modded. He's been modded. Now he shall be demoralized as well. <laughs> You're successful. Hell yeah. And Lucina shall receive guidance. Wow. Fuck him up, fuck him up. Get him, girl. Get her done. All right, Lucina, it's your turn. Yep. Uh, let's do a dual hand assault. So let's see. One action, I switch to two hand. Then strike the panther. Oh. That's a hit. Nice. Even nicer. All right. And then I release my grip, which is still within the same action. And then the next action. Uh, come here. Let's dance again. I'm gonna grab. Okay. <sighs> Damn. It's here, point. My hubris. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so uh, wait, actually, can I add guidance to that? Oh, and I don't want to change anything. 
Yeah, Dude. I would have been to the break. Oh, well. Uh, what Actually, else we got here? Hmm? I, yeah, it would have been 28, which I think is still one shy. Actually, okay. uh... It's against its fort DC, right? Uh, actually... No, it's just a regular melee strike, and if it hits, then it happens. Oh, okay, then, yeah. Yeah, you're... combat grab's a little different than grapple. Yeah, melee you strike, you certainly would have been able to add your guidance to it. Yeah, that, 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 that's what we're saying, though, is that even with guidance, it'd be 28 for its 29. Because they need 30. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'll just hit you again. <laughs> oh, about 30 damage, still solid. Try it again. Last action. Nope, nothing. All right. It happens. It happens. All right, I'm good. All right. Otman, you are up. Could get behind that one. All right. Unfortunate. Not been rolling great. Just let him hit, man. <laughs> Just give him one. Um, I... The curse has passed from Gildan's turn to Otman in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm free. Let's fade away. <laughs> How to afflict someone? All right. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove her from the turn order because she's not doing a thing. Gildan's turn. Wayne Wright skipped. What about oh, skip Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. <laughs> he's like, I can't let him in. I can't let him in because if he hits, I'm going to have fun. And got the best thing pocket. is his will saves are down, so he's easy to faint. And his AC is lower. He's easier to hit. All right. Silly, you silly Billy, you are going to get deceived. No. That easy, you're not that easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it does not work. I should take Bon Mott or try demoralizing sometime, but I'm just going to shoot him for now and I'll figure that out later. Uh. <laughs> What's my what's my percentage to hit? It's not even like a 50-50. It's like a it's like a like a like thirty percent chance to hit. Damn. Well, I'm just I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> do it again. You're at a solid forty five percent. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, the the uh, combat is making it hard to aim accurately. <laughs> I'm. Oh, the the backward hands are just messing with your head. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, if if I if I cannot shoot this man on my next turn, I'm gonna hero point the strike the the plus sixteen, and, and, uh, <laughs> and then I'll get a crit. And then I'll get a crit, right, guys? Right? For Absolutely. sure. <laughs> they're they're just, dodging just to their left. left. And then there are other lefts. <laughs> That's the spirit. You just gotta remain positive and maintain that uh, forward thinking. You'll get through this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's your turn with the luck stick, so hit them with it. <laughs> I'll try. 
Don't try. Uh, Do. Force, I think. When it's uh for my shield. Fuck, I can't remember now. Uh, da, 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 da. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is force. So, that's that. How far are they away from me right now? I completely forgot how much movement. There we go. Uh, they're like, they're like 20 feet away. I'm just thinking if I, I wonder if I can move behind, uh, is all. Yeah, I'd be able to, so I'll basically move, uh, there. And then move there. And I'll target this one. Okay. One attack, because that's all I can do, basically. Oh! Nice. I've got three 19s in a row right now. <laughs> oh, but now you've pointed it out. <laughs> True. Motherfucker. These guys. Yeah, they have resistance to everything except piercing. Or, well, sorry. But resistance to physical 10, except piercing. Yeah. Oh, I should use, um... Sorry, the, the resistance to physical damage, but magic we should be fine, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, alright. Yeah. Uh, this one's not doing so hot. Uh... This one is going to cast a spell on itself. Is it a spell that makes it harder to hit? <laughs> yeah. Easier to hit, rather? Because <laughs> it makes it harder to hit, I'm not interested. He can... Yeah, he can just not do it. He can sit on it. He's just gonna do this. We all decided to veto this. I'm sorry, what? Disappears. Oh no. Left? But, but I can see his, I can see his ghosts <laughs> spinning well, I, I around. Was, I was focused on him. Did he? Did he not have like a? Oh, was that not like a manipulate? Are we, are we controlling the right one? Uh, no. Be oh, sorry. Dang. Like, like from my perspective, it's a bit off because like I have the bunch of pop ups up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not so good. All right. Uh, the left one. Let's see. Uh, the left one would probably step forward here, uh, and again, target Vars. Thirty-two. Deal that. And then deal another. 31. Alright, and then the second one disappears. Uh, but they are doing a manipulate. So if you can if you have an attack of opportunity, Wayne. Yeah. I can take that too, right? Yeah, I believe I so. Too. Yep. Bob. How far away is he? Ooh. He's 10 feet? 15. 15, yeah. He's 15, I can hit him. Die, fool. I got 11 misses. Yep. That's not easy. Wow, what, does, does everything miss? He's just have ridiculously <laughs> high AC. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's 29. Um, he's gonna take yeah, that. I, I, that. That means that I've gotta roll like like a 16 or something to, to fucking hit. <laughs> Uh, 13. Yeah. 13. Oh, good. Yeah. It, it, that's, that's why all the debuffing It literally is like you guys just got really close. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's why all the debuffing so matters. So he's going to take that thwack of the sword and then 
disappear. Uh, and then... Let's see. Oh, do I get an attack on him or anything? Yeah, the if you have an attack on him, you do. Yeah, yeah. Let's make him that. Sorry, I was I spaced up for a second. <clears throat> there's, there's what we're looking oh, for. Oh, <laughs> it's interrupt the action. No more invis. Oh, really? Right. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Four points of that should be utterly uninterrupted. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'll, I'll just subtract another four. Okay, uh, he did not like that. <laughs> um, in their desperation, they're going to five, uh, 15, 20, five, 30, 35. They're gonna get that far. They're trying to run away. All right, uh, that's their turn. Uh, Nolly, sensing that the creature is running, is going to hop onto this couch, reload, and fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Why couldn't she be doing this earlier? Why couldn't she be doing this the last three fights? Come on, Nolly. <laughs> She's been Get it together, Nolly. <laughs> All right, and so the the Panther Rakshasa barely makes it past the door before a shot just blows open a hole in its chest and it falls to the ground and just melts into this uh, black bubbling pool. Wayne Rider, right, Wayne Rider, you better make friends with her. <laughs> All right, so we've got our. I'm not feeling great. <laughs> so he's going to uh, take an action to... Uh, we've not seen these creatures take attacks of opportunity yet, so he's confident that he can just move away. <laughs> yeah, they, they have not made evident that they can do that. We shall insult his heritage. <laughs> Haunted... But he's not intimidated. I don't think there's any crit fail on that. We'll stick the bond lock. Yeah, there's no crit fail. So he's just bond modded, so his will is reduced. Cool. Lucina. All right. Let's do another dual-handed assault. Switch to two hands. Strike the vulture. Boom. Yeah, that's a hit. Nineteen. All right. We're going to try to grab the vulture by the throat with a combat grab. <laughs> Boom. Oh, wow. By the, coach, by the scruff. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I've got it by the throat. We're, we're angry, Sean, right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did I ever do to you guys? <laughs> well, I've got it by the throat. I'm just going to throw it. Um, actually, I think we're only throw it. I'm actually just going to throw it right next to me, right in the middle of all three of us, or four of us. <laughs> just fucking slam it on. Throw the it into the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's amazing, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> oh man, That's those are nat 20s too. Those aren't even just tons. <laughs> wow. That's the end of my turn. Back to back nat 20s. <laughs> right. Actually, it's probably prone. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, crits are prone. And this new, this is when he knew he fucked up. <laughs> yeah, so now it's 8, sees 28. <laughs> and you're flanking. All right. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, uh, I saw the twenty for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the, the creature is gasping and writhing around. It's hard to get a solid hit. <laughs> Wainwright. Fortunately, Otman is fuming right now. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are right, Nate. <laughs> Target him. Oh yeah, I'm fine. It's. I guess it's just not uh, creature you should be I, I, we, we really hitting. Literally had two sessions of like I was not able to do anything higher than a nine. I pistol twirl him. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, shoot. I'm shoot very good. I'm gonna hero point that. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna I'm <laughs> gonna go cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I think I'll have another hit. I I do. <gasps> Fortunate. I um. I am my turn. Face down mode. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna chill. Touch the motherfucker. Just 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 yeah, just hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a it's a hit. So that's five. Yeah, it just makes the four two. Okay. And then just go for it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Five. I was so annoyed. <laughs> I fucking AC and fucking like ten off your fucking damage. Uh, that's the end of my turn. You take right. damage from my hell touch, right? Sorry, hell touch. Yeah, yeah, the the five. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, well, this creature's gonna try and stand up. <laughs> kick it down, kick it down. Oh no! So everyone oh, he's... has everyone has a tax of opportunity can provoke. Um... Oof. Oh, I'll take it again. <laughs> I think I'm slight. I'm like I think I'm like uh, five foot out of range. I mean, nine damage is not too bad. Oh, sorry. So it's also gonna take. Um, I think when I'm the only one who can just bypass its defense completely, and I can't hit him. Uh, and it suddenly thinks that its companion's idea was perhaps smart, and so it is going to. Let's see, it's going to try and stride out of the room. It will yeah. pass. It will provoke your attack of RPD because it will be crossing within ten feet. Hey, nice. there hey. you go. Oh, and then Otman hits it too. <laughs> Yay! So twenty-nine damage. Twenty-nine damage <laughs> for me. All right, so it's gonna take the twenty-one from Otman. Uh, and then the 29 from you. Uh, Boom. You only have one hit point left. Got him. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> so it basically coll <laughs> yeah, it collapses right on top of its other buddy. <laughs> There's just like a an inky stain on the floor that's just soaked into the wood. Uh, the only thing that remains from them are uh, two cuckoos. Uh, but combat's over. <laughs> well, we gave them a chance to walk away. But now they made their own fate.
Oh, bloody nuisance. Ow, that hurt. I was gonna say, can I just heal myself, Sean? Or do something? Yeah, going you on? can go ahead. <laughs> right. well, let's see to uh, that little one uh, down in the the beds first, right? <laughs> ah, yeah. So there's someone in there. I forgot about her. I'm gonna heal Bye. myself too. Yep. Steps over their corpses with a kick to one of them. Oh, hey, uh, little miss, you all right down there? Um. Yeah, she she's she's a little shook, having just watched that uh, vulture squawk and cry, and then plop down into just this amorphous pile of ink and clothes. Um. She says, yeah, yeah, "Yes, I'm, I'm all right." Oh, oh, what are y'all doing here with things like them? Uh, as as soon as she's had a moment to collect herself, she immediately begins to sob. Um, oh, says, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she just kind of cries out. They took her. They took Laria. Please, you need to find her and save her. Who is Laria? Um, Nolly kind of enters the room uh, and explains that Laria was the uh, owner of this place and her uh, agent. Uh, she, this, you know, she was uh, the person she was trying to warn. Uh, but it seems that the uh, the Scarlet Triad had got here first. Um, uh, Elianda, as she introduces herself, explains that um, uh, she had been upstairs alone when she heard fighting break out below. Um, you know, she feels ashamed having hidden, but um, when the fighting was over and she crept downstairs, uh, she knows that several employees, including Laria, had been chained up by a group of strangers who fit them with gags and hoods and bundled them into large sacks. Um, and she she particularly noted out that the uh, two two creatures are sort of masterminding the operation, the ones that you just slain. Um. Oh, that, that's a terrible ordeal, dear sir. Look, dude, uh, you, Nolly, uh, do y'all have a place to go? Some place safe? Maybe some friends or family? Someone to look after you. While we get things uh, wrapped up here. We do need to uh, collect ourselves, I think. Well, we can head back to Lady Docker's school for girls. That should be... Amenable enough, seeing as uh, Lucina and the other agents there were able to dispose of the fiend. Um, but I'm, af I'm afraid I, I I can't place much else that's not compromised. And for sakes and purposes, like you you took you took. Um, I think you left Hundy Voshed with the other ones over at the school. Yeah, it was just a uh, Lucina we picked up. Yep. Uh, but again, Elianda seems just in distress. It's like, but you have you have to find them. I, 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 man I managed to hear. I think where they were going. Kind of Again, let's let's just get somewhere safe first, and then we can talk about it. We all need to collect ourselves. We've, we've all had quite an ordeal, it seems. We should probably get out here post haze, just in case there's anything else lingering around. No, Nolly nods. Yeah, you don't want to be here when the authorities show up. You should head out quickly. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about them, but yes, you're right. Yeah, I presume no one else has any. I can't see people. Oh, yeah. But let's, let's get moving. 
There's no other screaming going on in the other rooms or anything. Uh, El Elianda shakes her head. No, I, you know, I, I, I managed to hide myself up here, but it seems most of the fighting was downstairs. Alright, let's phase through the floor and get going. <laughs> it's just T-pose and no clip through. I'll go ahead and bring us back to Kentargo then. I love Warp Medic. Makes healing sweet. <laughs> Ten minutes and 200 something hit points restored. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, so once again, Nolly leads the way kind of escorting you all out of the uh, coffee house and back towards uh, Lady Dockers. Um, at this time of night, you know, the streets are pretty quiet. Uh, although you can tell that a bit of a row has emerged as like, um, just as you're crossing the courtyard, you can make out the distant figures of guards heading their way towards the coffee house. Um, all the while, uh, once, once you've had sort of like a uh, a chance for quiet. Nolly um, uh, speaks with the the, uh, the head mistress or um, uh, Lady Mayalari Dokur, as you would know her, uh, Lucina, um, who kind of runs this academy. Um, it kind of leads you into it, like after kind of finagling with the lock, leads you into the actual uh, quiet and dark school itself. And uh, secures you all in a private room. Oh, I don't remember the last time we got to just sit and rest for a bit. Uh, is, everyone, been traveling for quite some time. is everyone doing all right? And I don't just mean physically. I'm fine. It's been a long day. Oh, you say that again. Feel like I've been peeled like a baked ham and put back together. <laughs> and did you see them furry things? Like the old hands and like all backwards and stuff. Like that's just not right. Who were those? Those creatures, anyway. All right, do you, do you know anything about them? Who? The little halfling girl that we rescued, I thought she came with us. Yeah, she, um, Eleandra shakes her head. Um, she hasn't the faintest clue, like, who or what they were, just that they, uh, were connected with, um, the slaves being, t or the employees and, uh, uh, Lorena being taken. I feel like I, don't I like could. A slave fair. Traders have things like that on uh, the payroll. Uh, Winry, do you seem to recognize those? Do you know what they were? Uh, they were uh, Rakshasa. Rakshasa, Rakshasa. I, I uh, think I heard some. There's. Yeah, they might deal with slaves, eh? Yeah? I, I don't know about anything about them. Do I do I recall any anything more with the uh, the esoteric lore check I made earlier, Sean, or do I need to make another one? Um, I feel like Wayne I think, I think I give you the gist that like Rashasas are fiends that uh you know obviously take on humanoid disguises, um, and they you know seek to defile, gorge, or uh, help themselves to hideous acts. Uh, there's quite a wide range, so they're not all tiger heads, as you uh, just witnessed. Um, but uh, yeah, they they tend to they're they're of the stealthier persuasion. So uh, basically, they're like uh, humanoid fiends that uh, blend in a little better than most, which I guess is common fare for this city. That's not the last. The, not the first fiend we've seen. Probably not the last. Oh, that's just... Oh, it's never gonna be the last. That's just devilish. Or, or maybe it's not about... I, I don't know. 
Uh, fiendish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's just not good. Very bad, not good. Good, not dab. <laughs> Badong. Not good. Bad wrong. <laughs> Oh, I think I hit my head or something. Uh, so Molly, uh, what next? Uh, we, we got your friend out of there. Is there anyone else to, that needs help? No, Nolly uh, shakes her head. Our, our three main locations are here, the coffee house, and Kite Hill. Um... Have we done anything with Kendall yet? Uh, that's where she kind of took you originally when you uh, rescued her from the alleyway. Okay. Uh, just for like a, a private location to uh, talk. Um, yeah, but um, so of of you know of the halflings here, you have her, uh, Eliandra and uh, Hundy. Um, but um, she she kind of shrugs her shoulders and's like, "Well, they they hit us hard here. I mean, we have we have other places around Ravenel, but this is where we have conducted a, a large portion of our efforts. Uh, it you said they were fiends. I, I, I guess the Scarlet Tried has allied themselves with diabolic affairs." Most likely, yes. But she she turns her attention to Alejandra, kind of going over her and uh, trying to again soothe her nerves and calm her down. Go, Alejandra, wh where did they take them? Uh, and the the small halfling marks that uh, uh in in the commotion she managed to hear something about what they were saying. Um, something about how it was easier for them to kidnap halflings since they have to uh, climb up a bunch of steps. Steps? Say what? I'm just not following you. They uh, take longer to uh, go upstairs so they're easy to snatch and grab. Um, Just kind of a messed up way of thinking of it. Nala kind of like, you know, wags her finger and thought. So they, they must have been taken to somewhere in the city that has a lot of stairs. Yeah, so do we know like, the sort of layout? Is it, is it mostly flat or is it sort of like leveled? Uh, so what you could do is you could make a society check. Sorry, I open my sheet. Ooh. Sean, while we do this, could I have two requests from you? Sure. Could you drag our tokens to the top left of this area map? Oh, sure. And two, in the uh, character player's view, if you drag all our tokens under the red bar, the party, we'll get a lot of functionality after, over the, the party sheet. In terms of stash loot and after action stuff. Huh? Oh, did you make that? No, that's just built in. Oh, damn. Oh. By having this, 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 this That's your 20, uh, Azra. Yeah, there's my 20. We're doing wasn't there society, before? was it? Society, yeah. Sure. Give it a shot. Though, where I want to, I could have I could have made an underworld lore check and just gone, yeah, well, I can at least learn something because I have unmistakable lore. But whatever, I got a twenty. Doesn't matter. Oh wow, you're right. That party tab was awesome. Oh, that's Irene. Her there. <laughs> uh.
Uh, okay. Um, Xander, you definitely know. Lucina, you also know, because you, you're somewhat local. Um, the, the place they probably took them, and the place that has a lot of steps, is uh, Alabaster Academy. Um, just located uh, right here. Um... Specifically, you think it might be uh, one of the uh, larger towers, uh, Tennyson Tower specifically, because it's the one that rises highest amongst all the others. Uh, at at the you... sound of this, uh, you just see Varsa's look just drop. Stires. It'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> Be, it'll be good exercise. Uh huh. Well, maybe I got a spell for this. Um. Yeah, and th so particularly what you know is that um the Tanisans of the namesake Tanison Tower are one of Kentargo's noble families. Um, in fact, uh, since you got a critical success. Uh, Xander, uh, you happen to know that, um, yeah, uh, the, the Tannisons themselves, um, have a bit of a tenuous relationship, uh, with the city. Um, like Alab Alabaster Academy itself was once, you know, a foremost institution of learning here in the city. Um, you know, basically like a a pretty pricey school, but also had you know top-notch teachers. Um, but then one of the academy's most beloved professors was revealed to be a murderer, and the uh, academy's reputation has uh, suffered ever since. Yeah, that would make sense. Huh. Okay. Or what is its current state, though? Um, well, probably a decent portion of the academy is abandoned because, again, a lot of students moved after the allegations, um, and as a result, they have sort of fallen with funding. Um, but the uh, Tennyson Tower itself probably wouldn't be too hard to access. Huh. Okay. So it, 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 is it like somewhat open to the public? Yeah, it, it's an academy, obviously. Like, um, the, mo the more learned areas are still uh, being maintained, but a, a lot of its former glory has since uh, faded. Gotcha. So it might it might not be a bad place to run a slaving operation, seeing that there's probably parts of it that are abandoned. Hmm. I suppose all we can really do is scope it out, then. Let's take a look. Well, we should probably rest first. True. Indeed, as, uh... As you take this moment to rest, uh, you all be arrive at level 9. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I swear at level 9, I feel the divine. Okay. And I'm back. Race. Apparently, just as the magic words are said. <laughs> Race at eight. I make myself a zero. Now I'm a nine. Yeah. I uh, see what I should get. <laughs> nice. It's official. <laughs> you can't take it back. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think about leveling. 
spell selections. Ah. That's okay. We'll spend a little bit of time. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Where was I taking this character? Yeah, I'm gonna take a second and just pause stream for those hanging out with us. We'll be back in just a few moments. We're gonna be doing mechanical shit. Be back in a bit. Well, I just want for flavor. So as he marches up, um, you can kind of see he's reaching under his breastplate, and he's pulling out, which you can see was once a symbol of Serenray, but has it has cracked in such a way where it resembles the shape of a fly an eight-legged fly as it's um dangling from the chain and as he's looking to you he extends his hand and with a warm smile feel the power just of my the princess as the the negative energy saps the last of his strength from him he falls to his knees and thames just looks wistfully behind him at he can't actually see her but what he assumes is the, the mad scramblings of his sister and he just uh, closes his eyes and smiles briefly uh, I'm sorry father I, I, I failed you but that will be okay and he falls forward flat on his face into the mud in the rain as it pours down the crevasse of the mountain slope his blood soaking into the mud making it a dull red rusty color oh yeah. Karen Karen leans over the, the lich grabs its bony wrists and places them over its head and then unclips a feather from his cloak and standing up, he invokes the power of a feather token anchor on the lich's head. <laughs> That's terrible. A anchor large enough to hold is still a very large ship appears in midair and just buries the lich's head, arms, and shoulders. Don't think he's <laughs> casting after that. Okay. Uh, Make your mark! Your days are numbered, 2016. The mages of Magnamar are already lowering the glass sphere. There's 365 to be exact. <sighs> Once that sphere is lowered, your days are over. Oh. That's so long as. Fuck me! <laughs> wow! You like? You talk a lot of shit. Uh, you need to mark that time and highlight that mark. <laughs> Three nat ones. Holy cow! Hawkeye. He isn't used to firing at things with holes in the middle of them. God. I just took the zero for a bullseye. <laughs> He sees a circle, and he aims for the center, but it's not a bullseye. I'm fucking laughing way too hard because it's still enough to kill it. <laughs> I'm still- I'm literally- what, it's, I'm just like, you talk a lot of shit. Damn it, guys. For the best. Very carefully, uh, methodically, precisely, Stacks some bits of cheeses on a napkin and wraps the napkin and just shoves the whole thing into his tunic side pocket. And like you could almost hear the squish. <laughs> Cheese. Oh no. And then, and then looks to you, Vistra, and says, Good luck. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. The rider <laughs> lowers his hand. For a moment, everything goes quiet as the darkness keeps swarming in. And he says, Fool, then here you shall perish. 
before the darkness has suddenly burst into light as it's completely engulfed in flame. The rest of you are just witnessing as Baldrick's body is just charred and burnt alive. And um, from on top of his horse, Han suddenly bursts into flame as well. <gasps> and so, completely swathed in flame, Baldrick, your mind is gone. And in its place is something darker and more sinister. As you atop your flaming horse, turn to the rest of your comrades. But not with allegiance. And this pace starts getting faster and faster. Crazy car alarms. And click, everything. clack, click, clack, click, clack. And you can see that uh, there's many different gears that you didn't recognize immediately. And uh, it's like a clockwork, just an amazing um, display of moving parts in various places. Either the wretched thing is having a fit or it's trying to communicate. So all that noise is coming from this creature? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> As Jamalor says that, it says, click, clack, click. Oh, we, we know your language, click. The zing. We were part of the great march, clack, clack. We were separated, cling, cling, zing. We were lost, zing. You're way too much fun with that mic. <laughs> Wraith, Bob, attack. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear god so technically that would be a charge when you're falling from above yeah i'll allow it it's oh fine my god. oh god bob in a fit of suicidal rage just dives into the pit head first there should be a plus two so i don't know what the charge in that so that's plus two yeah, on the charge just... Yeah, it's just charge plus two. Uh, it hits. <laughs> now there's the Wait, question, hold on. Now there's the the question take... of falling damage. Yeah, doesn't the thing take falling damage equal to an object of its of the rhinoceros' size? Uh, it's the difference between like an object versus a character. The rules, as written, are assigned to like normal, medium-sized characters falling, and it technically is a charge attack. Hmm. There isn't anything about falling damage for characters like that, so we can play it out however you want. How much does a rhino weigh? I just I, in my. Uh... I I'm just I'm just going to say this before the ship my turn. Rule it how you want it to be ruled. Do you want it to be falling damage? Do you want it to be damage per weight? <laughs> um, I feel like the damage per weight. Uh, let me ask you this though. Are you going to call this a bludgeoning attack if it's damage by weight, or is this environmental He's damage? going in face first. This is piercing. True. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving it piercing. <laughs> okay, I would, I would think... say go by a white rhino's weight. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Well, I don't know if that's the wisest idea, because if this ship mine decides to crawl out of here and throw the rhino back at us, we might be <laughs> running into issues, my friend. I don't think your rhino is going to so one-shot this I, thing and make I, it so we're unable. I also don't think the rhino is going to survive this, because it takes just right. as much damage as it deals. Oh yeah, okay, that's yeah, true. This is a one-way trip. Fair enough. So the rhino tanks and up. deals 75 damage. <laughs> nice. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Bob, you're a fucking legend. Are you dead? I only have 36 hit points, are you kidding? Are you dead dead? No, no, no. That's, that's not how rake works. Oh, how do rake work? Rake isn't rend. Rake, you have to roll. Oh, I have to roll rake. Okay. I roll the rake. Well. Well, that just got worse. <laughs> I tried to help you, man. But the dice. <laughs> wow. Wow. They were. Uh, let, me, let me put it this way. Before the rake even happened, I was unconscious at zero. Or I staggered at zero. Then the rake happened, and, like, my guts are on the ground. You were staggered at zero, but you weren't down, right? I fucking am now. Okay. <laughs> well...
could cast Stinking Cloud to make his last moments uh, unpleasant. Is that how much damage it takes? That is how much damage it takes. How much does Scruffy have? Not that much. Oh, and Rashawn can't lay on hands. Not only that, but uh, it's it's a terrible scene that happens. Scruffy just gets swept away as it's uh. being pushed and wading into this. It its ankles and its feet just melt as it's uh. going in. As it falls in, it just reaches out and calls out for uh, Rashan as it's being swept away down into the crevice in the uh, flood of lava. Spider. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We can always order more. Uh, uh, and of sure. course, it's, it's at this moment that um, kind of with a plop right in front of Bumble is this platter with, you know, like a little um, lettuce bed underneath this uh, this rather dismal looking fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, have it, yeah, have it, yeah, have it. What oh, happy is baby. That? Oh, this here is the best delicacy in Westgate. It's a, uh, it's our blobfish special. Not many <coughs> order it, but uh, we we had one on reserve, fortunately enough. As even the cooked version of it has this pungent aroma you can basically see the scent vapors kind of coming off of it and some of you kind of have to you know catch yourselves <laughs> yeah uh Arux is is leaning way back away from that thing yeah it's a deep sea fish it probably does not smell the best and, and bubbles just sitting there with his hands flat on the table a little small little line of drool coming down his chin as he's just looking at this thing with bright wide eyes. Nathan, do you mean to tell me that you're going to eat that? Oh yeah! I've been waiting for this! My goodness, have you're much braver than I thought. Have you ever eaten it before? Oh yeah! A few years ago, when I was a little when I was a little chillin, I, I came through town. Well, Potentially came through town, mind you. It's kind of dropped me off and left me here. But I, I was in town, and, and I have one of them, someone kind enough to provide, provide me about to eat. And oh my goodness, it was so good! Oh. I, I will take your word for that, because that smells really, really bad and works looks even worse. And as he, uh, as it's set down in front of him, grabs the, uh, a small, uh, cooking knife from his belt. Uh, yeah, everyone carries a cooking kit. And he looks around, he's like, uh, you might want to sit back now, it tends to, to, to squirt a little. At that, I will stand up from my chair and take two steps from the table. Kind of like... A cacophony of chairs scooching over arise as the words leave his mouth. Some like individuals like visibly kind of like hunching away. <laughs> like I'm sure there's definitely some people who are just sitting there in like morbid fascination, like someone's actually gonna eat this thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Arx is one of them. Yeah, Lud Lud is over by the counter. He's just kind of got like one hand on his face. He's slowly shaking his head. <laughs> so he he cuts into it and like one of the eyes just kind of goes squirting off and bounces <laughs> off the table you, and, you and, hear this like ah! it's the person just kind of flips out i'm out i'm out <laughs> ah gg i guess that one's yours as the fairy goes chasing after and, and you he, just hear blood just call out oi could you please keep it a bit cleaner <laughs> i thought i was And as he, he mentions it, you know, putzes with it a little bit, and he comes back up with a, a, a piece that has a, like a, like a, an almost slimy gray skin on it. Like it's exuding its own 
kind of coating. And just a still slightly twitching gray flesh interior with just the slightest bit of green ooze coming from some identified portion of this fish. <laughs> and he just takes it like a almost like a royal raw oyster and just tips his head back and just lets it <laughs> slide off the fork slowly, viscously down into his mouth and you can just see it bulge in his And welcome back to the stream everyone. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're level nine and feeling uh, overly confident. <laughs> yeah, we're only one step away from, from, from ten and we're really feeling it. <laughs> yes, but uh Yes, yeah, so now you've made your morning preparations. Uh, you have your destination, Alabaster Academy. Uh, naturally, the the two halflings that you rescued the previous night are probably going to stay here. Uh, but Nolly will, of course, assist. Uh... As you begin making your way home, uh, you know mu much of uh, much of what Xander had shared about uh, Alabaster Academy and its waning reputation is plainly visible as you step onto the campus itself. Um, you only see like uh, maybe like a few patrons milling about. Um, and what you can recognize as students only really pass you, like, you know, the occasional glance. Uh, not really questioning your presence here, just letting you uh, go about your business. Um, uh, it takes you no time at all to identify Tennyson Tower, the, the tallest one, the tallest spire here. Um, only to find that uh, it, it too seems uh, a tad desiccated. Uh, like there's like a partially ripped banner hanging from like an upper flagpole. Um, you know, bits of dust and cobweb sort of cling to its uh, uh, outer exterior. Ah, oh, man, this is terrible. How could somebody allow a place of learning like this to be left in such disarray? Well, uh, motivation. You know, if folks are more worried about just taking care of their own business than they are about you know, a chunk of stone on top of each other. Building ain't mean much when you got food on the table. I suppose this city has uh, bigger problems it's, as it stands. Not too many people wanting to do very much of it. Also, I see two Gildensterns. There are two Gildensterns. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Gildenstern, put yourself back together. You're falling apart, I man. <laughs> Oh, one of those should have been the Otman. I can't believe you performed <laughs> osmosis. That's crazy. <laughs> there you go. Must be a oh, new move. Oh my goodness. Otman, there you are. Where were you? Okay, so I suppose the 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 the, the, the big uh, spire uh, tower looks looks the best. Maybe, maybe we should just ask around and see if any of these students have seen or know anything. Let's go in. Oh, so that's a that's a pretty good idea. You know, people living in the area certainly got to know who's coming and going. Nothing else. That is, if they're paying attention at all. 
Well, if it's like most places I've been, uh, the residence, well, <laughs> uh, more likely or not, it'd be kind of a busybody, and well, it's your neighborhood. You know who's coming and going. Hmm. Well, I suppose it doesn't hurt to ask. Nothing hey, to lose. There's that. And hey, if nothing else, you get to meet some interesting people, right? True. So you're trying to, like, flag down a student? Yep, so Vars is partaking of the Gather Information Exploration Skill. <laughs> what do I need to roll for that? I imagine diplomacy. Or yep. society. I mean, technically any of these skills are up to the GM's, uh... Either, in terms of what actual skill you use these things for. But it's sure. typically the... Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can use gather information. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, most of what you get from asking around is, um. Uh, mostly that Tennyson Tower is probably, uh, probably abandoned. Um. You know, there, there's, uh. You know. Um, there's like there's like a lecture hall on the sixth floor. Uh, the seventh floor uh, used to be an alchemy lab. Um, uh, Headmaster Tennyson used to reside at the top floor, but that was you know long ago, several years back. Um, since then, the academy has really just sort of let it rot. Um, I don't suppose we need permission to go up there? Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to. Um, but, you know, it's doubtful that anyone would really be willing to stop you. The, the, the academy itself is kind of in dire straits. There's only maybe like a measly handful of students. Perhaps we can meet them and convince them to let us up. I mean, the more the, the more common notion you get is like, have you tried the door? It's probably unlocked. Yeah, well, if it's done being uh, abandoned, well, there ain't no one to stop us. It ain't unless we got any squatters and whatnot. I can't imagine they'd be giving us too much trouble. Just the same, why don't we uh, stop by the, the butchers and pick up some sweet meats and whatnot? No reason not to make your life a little easier by sweetening the deal. You think they're into that? Yeah. Well, I find, you know, a city uh, clustered up like this, you're always going to find folks who are looking for food. And, and an abandoned structure like that, if you got folks just kind of using it for shelter... A little bit of food. Nice word or two goes a long way. How are we sure it's not just wholly occupied by the slaving ring we're chasing after? Uh, as much as I wish otherwise, chances are probably is. I mean, hey, there's a reason we're going there, right? But you never know. It ain't uh, just a little bit of effort to take that extra, that extra step. Right? All right, well, I guess we'll wait while you go find that butcher. Mechanically, I'm basically just buying a, a few chunks of rations. That's good. Yeah, just, you know, just go ahead and subtract whatever that costs. I'll grab some too. Yeah, the, the the tower as it stands is approximately eight stories high. It's got like one of those um, uh, conical roofs. 
Uh, you can see um, windows from the outside. Um, in fact, several towards the top even seem to be like stained glass. I don't suppose any of us are particularly good at uh, sneaking around like, right? Not particularly, I'm wearing armor. Lucina looks at her own armor. Not particularly, no. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. <laughs> oh, I can uh, try. I am. How how high up are those uh, windowsills? Um, the windows are on... If you had to be a guessing man, probably the sixth story or the sixth floor. As it Easy were. 60 feet then. All right. Well, the, the each floor is like probably around 15 feet high. So it'd be like because it's like a pretty tall tower. So you're probably looking at more like 75. I mean, if you'd like to, I could go take a look and scout ahead. Well, N Nolly can also offer to try and be stealthy about it. She has a she has a knack for sneaking into places. I mean, if, I can if, sneak in, too. if in you're willing, uh, we don't want to put you in no risk or nothing. I mean, if you even want me to, I could look from outside through the windows, see if anyone's inside. Hey, good approach is any. Uh, the rest of us will probably head towards the front. Nothing else get their attention. You were saying something, Xander? Uh, I was saying I could also just sneak, but if everybody else wants to do something else, it's fine. Sneak is good. I mean, if you like it to give it a go. Yeah, it could be, could be you and Nolly sneaking up there, seeing what, what's what. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, so you will want to roll this stealth check privately to me. Private GM roll. Same for now. Yep, private GM roll. I can see that. Shouldn't be able to see that. That's fine. Just a blind um, GM roll. Apparently. I'll ignore it. Oh. I didn't see the number. Well, um, so as, as you as you and Nolly kind of sneak up to the door, um, you know she's re she's remarkably quiet for her you know her naturally stealthy size. Um, the door itself is unlocked as you sort of uh, test it. it. Swings open with a slow. Cre uh, the inside is dark. I have low light vision. All right. Does she? We both. I think she has normal vision. All right. Halflings just have normal. Um. So she's probably gonna like. Uh, grasp at the edge of your cloak. And let you sort of lead the way if you have low light vision. Um, yeah, as as you can sort of as you enter, you can see that much of this floor is dark and abandoned. Um, this is the first floor. This is the first floor. You can see uh, uh, sort of running along uh, the outer wall across is a, a set of stone stairs that run along the inside wall towards the upper levels. Uh, but yeah, huh. it, it, like this first floor just looks absolutely gutted. Like there's unfinished walls, empty door frames, you know, to the point where you can you know, plainly see that stone staircase. Gotcha. Could I, could I make a perception check to see if there's been any sign of Anyone being in here recently, the doors, you know, unlocked, like... Sure, you know, that, that would actually be uh, survival. Be survival? Yeah, 
Ch checking, well, for checking for like uh, tracks and stuff like that. Alrighty. Actually, now that I think about it, better yet, could I check and see if there's any signs of like more activity of fiends? I, I'm I'm not sure if that would tie into this, but we've been dealing with them a lot lately, and they're definitely involved with the. Mm. Well, that would, that would also tie into survival. Like you're you're, you're survival. looking for signs that people have been through here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, as as you kind of squint and scan around, um, you find that uh, the staircase in particular has seen a lot of use. Like there's there's sort of like a layer of dust that's sort of covering some of these uh, unfinished features. The stair is clean though. Or bereft of dust, if you want to put it like that. I see. Which tells you that something has been through here, probably recently. Alrighty. I'm gonna... stealthily go up the stairs. If, if, if I've covered everything on the first floor and they like, haven't seen or found anything. No, it, it, like I said, it just looks entirely abandoned. And then like what, whatever was here was taken out. Huh, okay. But yeah, you can, you can proceed up the stairs. Um, as you get to the second floor, same deal. It looks entirely abandoned and left over. You see, like, maybe... Uh, a, f a few chairs they're, they're kind of like missing a leg that have been like stacked in one area um, again just empty door frames no desks maybe a kind of a musty old rug but it's just dark hmm There's just another set of stairs that would just continue to lead up the tower, and they're also yeah. It's just a it's just a no winding dust. stair that goes up the, the length of the tower. Hmm. You know, I almost feel like I, I guess we just go back. I, the best I can figure is we go back to the group and then just actually go up the entirety of the tower because it doesn't seem like the first few floors have anything on them of value or to find. Sure, but if you go all together, you probably will make noise. Uh... So it's more a question of do you want to go up the stairs and potentially alert whatever's in this tower or do you want to sneak up and try and get a peek at what's on this tower. Yeah. That's fair. I'm thinking about it. I'll go up one more flight of stairs. Okay. Uh, third floor also looks desiccated. I see. And there's only six floors to this place? There are eight floors. Eight floors. Yeah, you, you were told by... You, were, you From the gather information, this tower has eight floors. Um, and basically six through eight are kind of the relevant ones, where the sixth one is like a lecture hall... Seventh one is an alchemy lab, and the eighth is where the headmaster and other students would have stayed. Hmm. Yeah, at any rate, maybe it would... Mm, I think I'll go back to the group, have them follow me, follow me up, 
like floor by floor and just like be quiet and then just me do the sneaking to like the the places that sound like they they would be being properly used that way if i do run into trouble i can just say hey yeah help <laughs> okay so you want so you want to go back to the party everyone moves together but like maybe like you and nolly are like one floor ahead yeah okay all right, so you return to the party. Man, what did you find? Um, nothing. It's it's just completely torn up and, and ripped up. It's like everything was moved, taken. It's empty, uh, at least up to the third floor. I was thinking it would be wiser to just have you guys follow along, maybe a floor behind me and Nolly, just in case. Makes sense. Wouldn't want to be too far in case you run into something. At any rate, we could also just throw rope out a window if we really need to get out that fast. <laughs> well, the, right. the windows are the sixth floor and up. So that's quite a fall. <laughs> we use multiple ropes and we tie them together. And I hope <laughs> you're all wearing gloves. Marsh just stands there looking at his belt and then looking up at that tower. Yeah, that ain't it. It's gonna be a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. Alright, do uh, I guess we all need to make stealth checks uh, now. Do I do I need to re-roll mine? No, you can keep, well... Uh, yeah, I would say so because it's like a new sort of instance. All right, so we all make it a stealth roll then. <laughs> but are you using that on yourself, Varse? That is a area thing. Uh, Varse will put that upon himself and everyone within ten feet of him, I believe. Okay. Target makes no sound. Oh, heightening it makes it all around him ten foot. So let me make sure I prepared that at a fourth. Which is good, because I was actually looking for a fourth level spell anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to see what's up. Oh, you. There you are. Yeah, you want a blind GM. Yeah. for Nollies. I think we're just missing uh, Actually, uh, Varsa, are you casting at fourth level? I am. Okay, okay. Uh, All right, okay. it's mechanically Foundry's kicking my ass right now. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so you all sort of uh, move within the vicinity of Vars. Um, you know, as, as soon as you sort of enter the radius, sound is immediately sort of muffled. Um, uh, meanwhile, Xander and Nolly. Uh, get the head start and proceed one floor ahead. Um, so, as you guys make your way up the tower, uh, Xander, uh, slowly winding your way past the third floor, uh, you find the fourth floor is also dark and desiccated. And awesome. then the and then the fifth floor is also dark and desiccated. Um, it's when you get to the sixth floor that you make out an opening. Um, how do I take you specifically to this room? Do 
just moments before casting this spell, Varsus gets everyone attention and mentions is like, all right, well, we're gonna be dead silent, but we gotta run. We gotta hurry. This won't last for long. How long does it last? Oh, only a minute. <laughs> ten, ten rounds of movement, three actions each. Fifty feet of movement. It's like 30 times 10. 30, 30, 300 feet worth to, with us, so still get around. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can probably feasibly get there while it's still silenced. Um, all right, how do I... Do I have to, like, drag your little... How do, how do I activate a scene for someone specifically? Uh, if you look at the players list on the bottom left by your bar, you should be able to drag individuals from there to the particular map. Cannot click drag. I think that's how that works. Honestly, I would just put everyone on the same map and just so we can at least see what's going on for the game aspect. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that then. Sometimes imagination just works better than tools. <laughs> Sorry. Incidentally, the uh, as a heads up, the the powerful heal. Now healing for um, 40, 10 plus 40. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of great. Yeah, so so Xander, as you sort of arrive upon the sixth floor, um, you arrive to an empty landing with a, a dusty pile of lumber stacked in one of the corners. Um, ahead of you is a, you know the stairs that lead to the next floor. Uh, but you sort of see that this uh, uh, lecture hall has risers descending towards, you know, a small uh, oval floor um, sort of off to the side there. Um, and you can you can make out what sounds like someone talking. How well can I hear it? Can I roll a perception check to see if I can hear it better? Sure. Um. It it sounds like someone's telling a story. Um, uh, it, um, yeah, it's, it sounds like someone's telling a story, and with your twenty six, you can tell that it's a story about um some some individual they captured like a long time like you know some weeks ago um uh and they're kind of they're kind of making like the, these boisterous claims about uh how lucrative of a catch they were um you know explaining that you know they they fought diligently but uh you know, ultimately succumbs to a quick sucker punch. Uh, I see. Well, frankly, Xander doesn't need to hear much else. Okay. So he's going to go back downstairs and tell everybody that there's definitely people up there. And they are most likely the uh, the uh, slavers involved.
Let's go get them then. And uh, I'm going to start moving towards the stairs. All right. I go ahead and drag everyone onto this map. We still have our silence, then we'll just silent, well, silently but intimidatingly walk into the room. Mars here is just silently suffering. <laughs> After the second or third floor, he's he's panting and sweating buckets. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we can't hear the panting. All right, so you guys are all uh, coming around and entering into the lecture hall. Coming around the mountain when we come. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, Mars right. is not in front. <laughs> Yeah, you, can, you guys can sort of... I, I guess, like, Otman probably take the lead. Otman and Lucina, maybe. Are, are we coming up running towards the west, or are we coming up towards the south? You guys are coming up from the east towards oh, the okay. west. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, and also you have, like, the two entrances on either side where... As as uh, Xander has pointed out, you can hear the sounds of someone recanting some kind of story. Oh, I just realized something. I never turned off my halo, so I'm basically a lighthouse right now. <laughs> oh, is that why you're illuminated? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, that might shine a light yeah, through whatever. Extremely cut him off at the point of Jesus. Yeah, if you want to. Re like re retroactively say you turned it off for this, then that's fine. I ripped the halo off my head. Scott! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The okay. halo explodes. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess it's really more a matter of like uh, which entrance you want to take. Oh, oh, both of them are open door frames. Doesn't matter. It doesn't. Oh, now I can see through the darkness. There's like a, a bit of darkness that was like jetted out. Right. Actually, like weird yeah, way. is it technically still like pitch black in here or dark? Uh, not not in this room. Um, this is actually lit. Okay. Um, it's just, it's just that there are obviously walls. Oh, yeah. I was just uh, worried that our companion Nolly wouldn't be able to see anything. She can see plainly. In fact, as as you I'm gonna sort of stop you as you get to there, uh, it's only when you come walking into the room, Otman, that the uh, the three you see three characters in this room. One is at the podium, um, uh, and appears to be like, you know, sort of this woman. Um, well, the uh, other two are sort of in the risers, kind of listening. And uh, as you sort of enter, the two on the risers slowly turn their heads, causing the one on the podium to stop and then also turn hers. Uh, and they just kind of look at you blankly. It's like, who are you? I assume you're the slavers. Your mouth is moving, but no sounds come out. <laughs> and then he's gonna start uh, spinning up the uh, his uh, uh, flail, <laughs> obviously threatening, and just start walking towards them. Okay, go ahead and add everyone to initiative. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll. I'm assuming whoever is trying to talk to us is uh, around the corner somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ellie moved Nolly ahead because she has the higher decks by far. Um, yeah, but uh, seeing seeing Otman getting ready to fight, uh, she's going to uh, rush into the room. 
Uh, and she is going to take her shot. <laughs> With a critical hit to start things off. Nice. Excellent. Amazing. So it, it still kind of with I think she just leaves the uh, the muffled now. But so that guy's gonna take that damage as the shot just booms across the room. Um oh, begin it. Uh, her reload is gonna be the end of her turn. Uh, the bruiser is gonna come uh, charging over the stride and then they are going to target Hotman. Oh, hold on one second. Uh, there we go. All right, strike with the Great Club. 30 hits. Um, what is, is, it would still hit even if it was exactly 28, right? Yes. Okay, never mind. All right, so you're gonna take uh, 12 and then um, Uh, they're going to go for a kick. For 28. Actually, for this one, I'm going to swing my blade and deflect the foot. Because I've got Guardian's deflection. Unfortunately, you do not have any of your reactions until you have your first Oh, shoot. I'll get him on that. That's a good point. All right. Uh, is it, who's getting hit? Otman or? Yeah. Okay, I reduced the damage a tin. Again, okay. no reactions. <laughs> no reactions. Yeah, yeah, we'll react to this. <laughs> this is why it's important to get the drop on enemies. <laughs> All right, uh, one of the guys in the stains. Uh, they are going to struck. They're going to move up the riser. Uh, back to there. Uh, and they, seeing people in the doorway, are going to fire their crossbow at Lucian or Lucina. Bing. And miss. And then they're going to spend a turn to reload. Uh, Lucina, you're next. Okay. Start the dual handed assault. Oops. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oof. On that guy. The bruiser. Yep. Uh, that does not hit. Damn. All right. I'll try for a double slice. Let's see. First one. Oh, I got to switch back to one hand. There we go. First one. Oof. Okay, never mind. Huh. And there comes the second attack. Also, wow. Okay, never mind. Uh, I didn't want to do anything anyway. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Over to you, Vars. Well, since I can't ride the sea no one. What, what direction is all this nastiness coming from? Go south? Yep. Oh, I do see you, dude. Okay. Um, Vars maneuvers so you can see a little better. All three in view. And he's going to drop some fear into the world, into their lives. Well, that little one's not like, but yeah. Yeah, it's these two I'm mostly worried about. Yep, yep. Okay. Will DC. It should be on two of them. The one next to Aubin yep, yep. and the archer in the back. Hmm? I think that's in range. Oh, no, it's not in range. Never mind. 
I can I not do that? <laughs> I didn't realize he was that far away. Oh sure. Yeah, you can recon that. All right. So for the one that's in front of Otman, we're just going the mundane route. Salt his ancestry. He's wearing a chamber pot for a helmet. Have him targeted, but that's against the guy next to uh, Obman. Yeah, it's the uh, Will DC. You're looking for a 29, so it does, doesn't. All right, so well, we'll try to scare him instead. No, oh, all right. These guys are hardened adventurers, apparently. <laughs> Say that again, damn. Uh, Wayne Wright, we got company. They got an archer up there. I do something silly and I cast Thicket of Knives from a scroll. Okay. Because I it's never used scrolls before, even though I can just make them for free. What am I thinking? Plus two deception. Okay. And I peek. Just grab that. Just put that on your cell phone. I go. Now last a minute. Uh, no, I moved there. Okay. Uh, that is that is gonna consume, I think, all three of your actions because the ticket of knives has a cost for two. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, why well, I, I move? I move there. I can't see. I can't see anything. Can't see anyone. Um, I guess I'll just. Nope, I don't see those guys. Those are there. Are there no, people there? No, these are open spaces. I'm saying if you just wanted to use your move to move in, position yourself, you could. You can move through your allies with no issues. You just can't move Actually, through can enemies. You? I yeah, can't move you, in those spots. Those spots aren't real. Squeeze in there. Is it, oh, oh wait! I had to walk into the room, and now it's letting me walk oh, into that, that space. It, it's a quirk of Foundry's dynamic lighting. It's a little more restrictive than the game system actually is. I actually can't see the enemies though. Uh, or Nolly, for that matter. Let me refresh. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess it's your end, because I, I can click on your character and see that you can see them. And now I have to log in in order to access the game. It's like the lowest rolled dice. Okay, yeah, that was uh, six. <laughs> well, and then it's, it's, at least it's, it's two actions and a move, so. At least it's not asking me to find the halfling in, in the background and, like, it's so blurry that it's like, is that a halfling or is that a child? You know, like it'll ask you to like find bikes, and it's like, there's no bike on that road, and then you you're like, sorry, you failed, huh? <laughs> click all of the click all of the stairs and hit OK to make sure you're not a robot. Eh. Odd bots get have gotten clever. <laughs> We have to make sure that even the humans can't see the, the images properly. It's too blurry. Okay, now, now I'm just having trouble connecting to Foundry. How odd. Uh -oh. Aside from the um, thicket of knives and just moving into the room, was there anything else uh, going on? Uh, no, because that was going to be the end of my turn. Oh, okay. there we go. Hold on. Well, the, uh, the third figure is going to... See. There. Move there. And take a shot at Guildenstern. It's remarkably <laughs> convenient. <laughs> Guildenstern's just been watching everyone going to the room. He's like, oh, I'm having a good time in there. <laughs> 26. Good at it. Just got 26 AC. This throws me off when I realize Verse has more AC than you. <laughs> 16. See the armor and I fate your Magus. <laughs> All right. Hotman. All right. Going to read. Can't wait for okay. remaster stuff to take effect on this. And then I'm going to uh, hit this guy. 
in front. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm Can going I hero to point that? hero point. Jesus. One better. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's roll a second attack. Like, I've just been watching your rolls. Like, you cannot roll above, like, a 10 tonight. I know, right? <laughs> I think the highest I rolled was a 13 to hit with my opportunity attack, and that's my turn. Unfortunate, yeah. Um, Gildan's turn. <laughs> You've just been shot at. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, why does it say I'm unconscious? What the fuck? Oh, God, I know why. Why, why are you unconscious? It, 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 I changed the thing and it just said to go, yeah, let's put it on. All right, just move next to them and do chilling touch. Okay. Success. Take half. And uh, that's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, Nollies go. Uh, she is going to five foot step, aim up the risers, and make a strike. Nice. Wow, she's pulling it out tonight. Sheesh. All right, next action, reload. Um, let's see the bruiser. Uh, let's see. Um, It's going to make a pummeling flurry. So it's going to make a break club strike and a kick strike. And I use my amulet on this. Okay, very good. Because <laughs> I just got a critical. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... So I was targeting the wrong person. Your, but your AC is also 27. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to deflect that. Okay. So that reduces it to... Uh, yeah, so that just turns the crit into a normal hit. Awesome. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so you'll take reduce 10. So it'll be 11. Okay. What about the next one? And then the kick. Okay. Just a normal hit. So this would all be combined. All right. So reduce to to eleven. They they are both bludgeoning, so you'd be resistant to one as well. <laughs> yeah, but the the damage is combined, so it, it would just be the ten. So twenty two. Um, basically. Yep. Uh, and then... Uh, they are going to make a shove. Let's see. Because they're trying to knock you down. Be like at a minus ten, right? Yeah, so that should be twenty-eight. Versus you your four DC. Four DC. That's a failure. Okay. Cool. You managed to write yourself. Uh, the one in the back is going to. Let's see. They moved, shot, reload. So now they're going to 
changed our target to Vars, who just fired that little shot. And miss. Uh, reload one. Uh, and they'll make another attack at Xander. For 23. No hits. Alright. Alright. Lucina. Uh, at the risk of taking an opportunity, I'm going to step through. Okay. Uh, that will provoke. Okay. Uh, so... All right. <laughs> That's a miss. Right here. Okay. Sushi runs up on the person with the crossbow. Let's do... Yeah, let's do a dual-handed assault. Two-hand and strike. Oh, got to remember the target. There we go. That's a hit. It's a palpable hit. Ouch. And then in the midst of slashing at her, uh, deliver a punch and try to grab at her with the combat grab. <laughs> all right. Ah. Ah. All right. Well, that's all I got. All right. You got a good, you got a good hit in. Yeah. All right, Vars. All righty. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't want to waste too much here. So, uh, this person, I think, was. Which one did I try to bond mot and all that? Was it this one or was it the archer? I think you tried the Bon Mott, the uh, Bruiser. Okay, so I can't really do that again. Um, Ars is... Uh, excuse me, Abin is fine. Eh, yeah, Gunstern can use a little help. And what is my movement? 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he will try to insult her parentage <laughs> like you've made some really poor life decisions you know that so she's bombarded and she is uh, fighting too damn <laughs> dang do not neglect these skills you're also bald <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now, there ain't nothing wrong and, with and, a bit and, of bald paint, okay? Okay, and but it happy. doesn't go great with the black lipstick and the crazy eyes. Hey, it's a look. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I met this I'm one, Calistria. I met this one, Shailene uh, Fowler, once. Uh, you know. <laughs> Just to say, that's the end of the turn. <laughs> All right, Wayne, right. All right. I'm going to use my my sheet she, my sheet with there 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 you go uh, esoteric lore. Not that there's much to know about these guys. I just need that to where my thing does its thing. Uh, that's a critical success if that matters for anything. Um, double check. I don't think it does. Crit success on exploit vulnerability. Uh, it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words I'm having to scan here <laughs> to find crit success. It's like, I don't care. Just say what it does in the beginning, and if it doesn't have a crit success, just fucking say that. This is why people don't play this class. <laughs> Alright, well, I got my, my, I got my thing. I'm 
I'm gonna pistol twirl against him now. All right, style on him. See what you can do. De deceive him. You will be deceived. It's a five. Uh, that's not enough. Actually, yeah, if that's against their perception, you're looking for a 26. Ah, curses. Well, mm, I shoot him. The old standby. Nice. <laughs> I was going to shoot you anyways. That hits. <laughs> I hit him. All right, they're going to take that. And then I do a performance check to dazzle him. Take this. Hiya! That dazzles them. Consider them dazzled. You have been razzled, dazzled, sir, and let me put that in the chat. That way you can drag it onto him. Yeah, yeah. I just assigned it to them myself. Bah. I, will dragging dropping it like that do that? Yes, it will. Okay. Excellent. So that means he... Concealed from you. So he's got to make a DC 5 flat check. Yep, every time he makes a swing. Okay. Um, and I... That's the end of my turn. Can't do anything else. Okay. Uh... This character is going to do a five foot step back. Uh, going to aim at Gildan Star and get a closer. The more immediate threat. Alright, uh, this bolt. Um, I'm going to need you to make a DC Fortitude save. Does he have to do that for poison? Yes, because it's a consumable. But he's undead. He's kind of a special undead. I get a uh, one sex length bonus to saving throws. Oh, oh what? Shoot, did you see? You just get a circumstance bonus, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reroll that. I'll use my arrow point. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that hits the DC. Oh, yeah, 21. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll take it then. <laughs> um, so you do not receive the poison. Uh, but you will take that 14 damage. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh... And then next action reload. Hotman. Just a bit of E. coli for you. Like, like it's got no flesh to eat on though. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attempt a knockdown. Hey! There nice. we go. That succeeds. Twenty six. He's gonna take that, and he's gonna go prone. Well, not. I still need to make the trip. Oh. And I love that plus ten rage damage. That's a city. Okay, there. There we go. you go. That succeeds. Last attack. Oh, oh. That's a miss. That might, that might turn into a hit if the off guard is applied. Is there a C29? Uh, it's 28, so that would that would have been a hit. With off guard, nice. Yeah, you're not going to prone first. Yeah. 32. <laughs> For 32. That's a solid whack. That's my turn. Alright, Gildenstern. Alright. Uh, 
It's annoying having to fucking open my sheet every time. Okay. Uh, uh, what is my thingy counters? Oh, negative. There you go. Am I stupid? Why is that on? Not on there. They're not. Uh, uh, what are you trying to do? No, I, 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 I'm trying to apply negative, but for some reason it's just not on the actual list. Yeah, it's, it's just straight up not on. That's strange. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's put four some for the sake of it. Uh, obviously, let's take a step closer and yeah, just go for a strike on them. Hey! Alright. That's a hit. Barely injured. How much health do they fucking have? A fair amount. All right. I think since it's 1130, we will pause here for now and resume next time. It's only 1130, isn't it? <laughs> 430 for some. Can't help it. You're right. English. <laughs> I can't help it. You guys are American. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe maybe more English people should play D&D. &D. I mean, <laughs> funny play it. <laughs> Alright, well, 